Hello, in this video you will learn how to turn on a computer power supply in easy steps. For this video I will be using this power supply which is manufactured by LightOn. Let's first check its specifications that are written on its case. Here you can see, this power supply requires between 100 volts up to 240 input volts to operate which can be switched using this switch available on its front panel. This power supply is capable to provide up to 250 watts output power is 3, 5 plus and minus 12 volts. It's also written that the combined power on plus 5 and plus 3.3 volts rail not exceed 110 watt max otherwise the power supply might malfunction. First I am going to try to turn on this power supply without making any changes to it. Let's connect this 230 volts power cable to its input port and see if it turns on. As you can see it's not turning on and this is because it needs a jumper wire on its two pins which are available within the output port. Here I will be using this simple copper wire as a jumper wire. This is the output port on in which we need to plug the jumper wire. These two cables, which are colored green and black needs to be joined together. You can also add a simple on of switch between these two wires that will allow you to turn this power supply on or off without removing the input power cable. Let's now put in the jumper wire to the socket where the green and black wires are attached. You can see how perfect it fits into the socket. Let's now try to power on this power supply by plugging in the input power cable after the addition of the jumper wire. As you can see, now this power supply is in on state, and the cooling fan is running. Let me turn it off and back on one more time to make sure that this power supply is working. Now that this power supply is functional, let's see how much voltages are available on the output wires. I will be using this multimeter to check the output voltages. Also, I will use this wire with crocodile cables to attach the negative probe with the negative wire of the power supply as it makes much easier to perform the test. Attach the negative probe of the multimeter with any of the black wires available as all the black wires are connected together on the main board of this power supply unit. Let's turn on the multimeter and set it to 20 volts range. I will test the voltages on this main port as it has all the outputs that are being generated by this power supply unit. The first wire that we are looking is the black wire, since the other probe of the multimeter is also connected to one of the black wires that's why we will see no potential difference between them. After that we have the red color wire which should provide 5 volts output. After this we have three black wires. Next one is the green wire which was connected to the black wire so the voltage across it will also be zero. After that we have the blue wire which should provide minus 12 volts output. Next, we have the orange wire which provides 3.4 volts output. Also, let's check the voltages on the other side of this port. Here, the two orange wires will provide the same 3.4 volts output. Then we have these red wires again for 5 volts output power. Next we have this gray color wire which also provides output voltage of 5 volts. After that, the purple wire is also for the same output voltage. 
Finally, we have these two yellow wires and one orange wire which are for 12 volts and 3.4 volts respectively. Other ports will also provide the same voltages depending upon the color code of the wire. If you have enjoyed this tutorial then hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon which will notify you whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.